Ciao friends! In this video we will see how to use the joint functions in DAX, natural left outer join and natural inner join, when you don't have relationships in the model. In a previous video that I suggest you watching in case you don't know how these functions work, in the previous video we have seen how to use natural left outer join, natural inner join, and we saw that we need relationships in the model to combine different tables. But what happens if we have two tables? We want to use one or more columns of these tables as a joint condition, but we don't have any relationship between these two tables. Well, this is exactly what we're going to do in this video, looking at how to manage the join using native tables in the model or variables obtained by tables in the model when we don't have relationships. Let's start with a demo. So we start with uh, an example where we have tables in the model, but we have no relationships uh, between these tables. And the case I want to start with is the case where we have these two tables, categories and subcategories, where potentially we have the category code, which is a column that could be used as a joint condition. We know that the content of uh, the, the column should be used for the join, but we didn't define a relationship between these two tables. If we had a relationship, we saw in a previous example, in a previous video, that would just work. What happens if we don't have that? So let's try to see what happens. If I try to go in my DAX review and I write evaluate, uh, let's start with the categories table. So let's take a look at the content of the categories table. I run this code and I see that the content is uh, seven, yeah, one, two, three, yeah, se we have seven, yeah, it's missing the zero two here. So we have seven categories. Let's go in subcategories and we see that we have a number of uh, subcategories and each one has a numbers between zero one to zero eight. We also have a reference to zero two, which doesn't exist in uh, the table categories. So far so good. What happens if we try to write a natural left after join? between the, the categories table. So for each category, I want to see all the subcategories. So I write a code this way, I run the code, and I get an error. The error says, no common join columns detected. The join function natural left after join requires at least one common uh, join column. What does it mean? Let's uh, rewrite the evaluate of these uh, two um, tables, actually I should have used this before, but let's uh, recover this quickly. So I comment this part because otherwise I get an error. So I have two results. The first one is the categories table. The second one is a subcategory table. Now take a look at this column. The column category code has the same name of the column, but the full name of the column is subcategories category code, which is different from what we have in result one, which is categories category code. So the full qualified main, the full qualified name of the two columns is different. They belong to two different tables, they are different. So what we have to do, first of all, we have to try to get the same column name. And how can we do that? Well, we can add another column with the same name. So the error, I repeat this, the error is that we don't have a common join column. So let's try to create one using add columns, I can add to the table categories a column called, for example, code, category code, category code, and the category code content will be just the category code from categories table. And I do the same in a subcategory. So add columns, subcategories, I want to add the, cate the, the category code same name. So actually, to make sure, copy and paste, just because it has to be the same name. And I use here subcategories, category code. Okay. So at this point, I'm repeating the same join, but now the, the two tables that I'm trying to get have the same name. If we actually copy and paste this code here and here, just to make sure we are actually doing what I'm saying, I comment this part and I execute only the first two rows. You see that now we have category code, no table name, which is identical to category code, no table name. So we actually have the same column name now. 
And if we try to execute this uh, natural left outer join, what happens? Unfortunately, we have another error. So now, the problem is different. You see that the error now, the error message is changed. Because now, it doesn't say that the, there is no join column. There is a join column. This is the column name. You see, empty table name, we have no table name, and category code, with the add category code. So there is actually a join column detected, but this function doesn't support a join using column with different data types or lineage. What does it mean? The two columns must have the same data type, and they have, they are two strings, but they also have to have to keep the same data lineage. What is the data lineage? Of course, this is a topic for another video, but quickly said, when I reference a column from a table, when I just use a column reference, the content of the column is not just, imagine that the content is not copied, but it's just referenced. So what happens is that we see the value 0, 1, 0, 2, but actually what we see still has a connection with the original uh, data source, with the original table where we extracted data from. This is called the data lineage. It's a way to enable the engine to remember where this data come from so that it can be used as a filter in the filter context if you push that content into the filter context. But in this case, it's a problem because uh, the two columns have the same name, but the content has a different data lineage, so it's different. It cannot be used. Solution, break the data lineage. Any expression that will transform the result of this uh, expression assigned to the column will generate something that doesn't have the same data lineage. At that point, it could be used. It can be used to join the two tables. And what is the simplest way? Because this is a string, you can just concatenate the string with an empty string. That's enough. You could use uh, any other technique. You can use a uh, convert function if you prefer. You can find your one. In this case, we know that the result will be identical, but it will break the data lineage. Indeed, if I run the code now, I have my result. I have to go to the result number three to see the result produced by the natural left after join. And you see that in this case, uh, we have all the categories, uh, including games and toys, which doesn't have any subcategory, because the, the, this is the behavior of the left outer join. Now, uh, as I said, the important thing to understand is that this, uh, um, the presence of the expression breaks the data lineage, creating something that can be considered in the join condition. So as long as we have the data lineage, as long as we just have a column reference, even though we change the name of the column, what matters is the data lineage. As soon as we break the data lineage, what matters is the column name, which is our case. Now, just to clarify one point, I mentioned that we could have used the convert, for example, here. So any expression that returns a string is good to obtain something that breaks the data lineage. Just the presence of any expression breaks the data lineage. And so convert to a string is uh, something we can use Let's go back to the result number three, and we still have the same result. So it's not important the technique that you use, it's just important that you don't have just a column reference. Any expression breaks the data lineage and enable us to use the column name as a join condition. So this is the example where, remember, we use the tables we had in the model. So if I go look at, a, at the model view, we have actually, we use the categories and subcategories. But what happens if we have variables? If we use variables in our code and the content of the variables is obtained by using some DAX expression, some expression that extracts data from the model, we still have to pay attention to the data lineage. As long as the data lineage is uh, in the data, that data lineage will be used for the join if we need to use just the column name, break the data image. Same problem, same, uh, same approach, and same techniques. But of course, let's make an example to understand how this works. So in this case, uh, I, uh, I prepared some code that I just copy and paste because uh, I don't want to spend time, uh, too much time uh, writing a code. Uh, I just want to spend time explaining what we have here. So we have two uh, measures number of customer, number of stores from the customer table from the store table. So 
we're actually counting the number of rows in the model. Customer and store are two tables in the model. Now, between customer and store, we don't have a direct relationship. If we take a look at the all tables, here we go. So we see that we have, I think, store is this table. Store is here. And customer is here. So we have one to many, many one. But this means that this is not. it is not possible to use uh, uh, in a single join store and customer together because, of course, we don't have any uh, one to many chain of relation. We have one many many one that is a kind of relation we cannot use in a direct uh, left outer join or inner join condition. So what do we do? So let's say that we create two tables customer by country and store by country which are two variables that contain two tables just with the uh, list of the countries and for each country we have the number of customers in one table the number of stores in the other table. So we basically create, and let's, uh, let's uh, just display these two tables to understand the content, it's easier. So let's evaluate customer by country, and let's evaluate uh, this other stores by country. Sorry, I don't want to get the variable name, okay. So if I use, if I run this code, now we have two evaluate statements. The first result is customer by country, the second result is stores by country. Now, if you think for a moment, the country is a column of the store table, but is also a column of the customer table, because there are two columns in the model, there are two different columns with two different data lineages and also two different names. However, for each country, if we look just at the content of the table, we have uh, country names and we have numbers. What we want to get is a simple result for each country. We want to see the two measures. We want to get a table that has three columns, the country, the number of customers, the number of stores in each country. That's the goal we have for our calculation. And let's try. Let's see how we can do that. So please pay attention. Because we have values, we also are getting a potential blank row, blank country, in case we had sales for a country that doesn't exist. That's something important to remember, even though I don't think we have this case in the sample data that we are using now. Even though you see that online, online is a particular country that exists for the store. We have the online store is assigned to a non-existent country called online. We don't have uh, uh, in the store table, sorry, in the customer table, we don't have any customer living in an online country because, of course, this doesn't exist. It's just a fictitious name we used. So what can we do? Well, first of all, we can try to just use the join, right? If we just use the join, evaluate natural left outer join, let's say we want to combine the, let's start with the customer, then, of course, we have to evaluate if we want to see the online or not. But if we start with the customer table, we will not see the online because the online is uh, only present in the store. So we have to use customer by country variable and stores by country variable. I run this code and what I get, of course, is an error. And the error says we don't have a common join column. We've seen before we have two different country names because one is store country, the other is customer country. So we try to solve this problem by using um, another another additional column but at this point we actually have a problem if we use add columns what will happen is that we will add another column and we might still have the original column so the result is not what we want what we want in the result is just a column country so we need not just to add a column but also to remove the original country column so we want to replace one column with another so instead of using add columns we use select columns by using select columns, we can choose exactly all the columns we want to obtain in the result, keeping the same number of rows of the original table. So we iterate the list of the countries and customer, but in the result, we want to get the name country as a column name where we display the customer country, country of the customer. Here we go. And of course, we have to break the data lineage like we have seen before. Well, let's just concatenate an empty string. Same thing for the store. Just change the name of the column, which is not store country, it's not customer country, but store country. And I keep everything the same. So if now I execute my code, 
what I get is that I have the result number one, number two, this is the list of the um, customers, the list of the country and the customer, the list of the country for the stores, and the result number three is my result. I have for each country, the number of customers, the number of stores. And so because I chose customers on the left side, of course, I have only um, the countries that have uh, customers. And so I don't see online. If you want to see online, then of course, you can do the opposite. I, we don't have a full outer join in, in DAX. So if I wanted to see, it, imagine you have the case where you have uh, the online, additional online country in one table, the store, the, the store, and you have a customer in a country like, I don't know, New Zealand that is not in the, in the stores, well, uh, we don't have a full outer join to display everything. If you have that requirement, you probably need uh, a table with all the countries, uh, other relationships that you will activate only when needed. Uh, so you would have to change the data model or to combine data in a different way, not just using a, a simple left join because it is not enough. You have to uh, you have to perform something more complex because we don't have a natural full outer join that we might have used in SQL. But that's uh, the way DAX works. So we can use the join, the left join and the inner join, but it's important to remove the data lineage in order to enable the use of the column name only as a way to join two tables. So when uh, we create variables having data coming from the model, if we want to use um, different columns, different original columns in the model, then we remove the data lineage. But if we had a variable that uh, gets data from the same table and we want to use that original column from the same table from two different variables to do the join, then in that case, you just use the data lineage because the column is the same and the data lineage is the same. So we have seen that breaking the data lineage is the key to join uh, columns that have the same name in different tables and that's the only way we can actually combine data that come from the model because otherwise each column has a different name and only the relationship can specify the join condition as we saw in a previous video. So it's important to understand that as long as you have a data lineage in the column that column has a specific name you cannot change it you cannot use to combine another column. The key is to move the value in a different column, making sure that the column is obtained with an expression that don't, don't inherit the data lineage from the previous uh, column of the model from which you extracted the data. I know it's advanced, it's something that you should use only when really necessary, but in case of need, now you know what to do. Enjoy DAX! Mm -hmm.